right now. But waiting in the wings. There we go. Vera, waiting in the wings. Dr. Mario player. Shout out to him. My camera's back. Hello. Hey, welcome back. Good to see you. I feel you. like a human again. No longer two <laughs> dots just kind of floating in space. That's wonderful. Was, was Bunny ever real? It's not about whether the person is real, but about the memories you made along the way. I don't know Twice what I mean sports. by that. We're seeing some <laughs> bands come out here for the Fox Ditto. Uh, we're going to see Ban on FD and Yoshi's. And mm. we're going to get the pick to go to Battlefield, keeping it really equal for what an explosive Ditto this can be. We're going to see a lot of big combos, I hope. Fox can really destroy himself. Yeah. One of the craziest, I think, dittos where there's some room for creativity, but I think with the heavy optimization we've seen from from pro players, um, the punish trees are just insane. So it's just like who gets grabbed first or who gets knocked down first and where they go from there. Yeah, the Swedes really took this matchup and made it into whatever it is today. They really took it into the modern era, into the modern era. So many up tilts. So many confirms off of the up throw, the Armada shines. So much tech coming out of Leffen and Armada. Yes, sir. Shout outs to Ithaca Esports for the follow. And shout outs to, to Ithaca in general. Uh, haven't been up there in a while, but I uh, hope it's nice and cold. I, I, not much to say about Ithaca. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you know, in Ithaca, they don't call them hamburgers. What do they call them? themed hams. <laughs> I thought it was an Albany expression. <laughs> no, no. Wrong part of upstate New York. Steve Williams. Thank you so much for the follow. Everybody, if you haven't already, please follow the channel. We could use all the support. Uh, we, we're, we're grassroots here. You know, we're, we're growing. We're up and coming. Show us some love. I yes, just subscribed please. earlier, and we had one other sub. That was great to see. If you have the Prime subs, you know, support the homies, support the Smash. Absolutely. The more the merrier. Uh, the more we have, the stronger we are. The more we're able to support the players, support the scene. I mean, I think that we've got a little bit of a circuit going on right now with a strong number of teams, some really strong players. Uh, I think that it's just like a really powerful opportunity to play for your squad get some team bonding going uh learn as you go uh but then also in the discord build community build connections across different college scenes um so lots of potential uh with what we have so far I'm proud of our our journey yeah and there's even more happening in the crew battle world we're helping to host a collegiate crew battle tournament uh you can check the information for that in the discord so if you aren't on the discord and you want to keep up with intercollegiate slippy news, please make sure that uh, you're, you're on the server. Exclamation point discord to get the link for that. Really exciting stuff. You can earn points for your team in this additional crew battle circuit. So make sure you sign up for that if you haven't already. Uh, get your crew together. It's, a, it's groups of four, I believe. So hopefully I can get a group. And uh, I'll see you there. Yes, sir. I'm an alumnus at this point, so I can't join, but I'm definitely going to tune in. Uh, different format, so we'll see. It'll be interesting. Yeah, we'll see if the top teams from our circuit are able to really shine there, or if there's some, uh, some hidden figures lurking in America's collegiate world. <laughs> collegiate Smash, I think, in general, is just really uh, untapped potential, because I think that what is it on a on a pro level? We might have talked about this before. On a pro level, you see that they're moving at blinding speeds. Like there's no room for error. Sometimes you don't even understand like the mix-ups that they're going for. It's so intricate. Uh, their brains are so big. College, they're still sometimes figuring out how to make that happen. Um, and so you're able to keep up um, and learn as you go. Right, right. Yeah, a lot of um, a lot of decisions that you won't see, you know, with uh, with your regular top eights. And that's honestly really refreshing because you're so used to, you know, the ridiculous amount of precision. These are at least plays that you can imagine yourself in and I wonder what you would do if you were there. All right, and it looks like the foxes are ready. 
Penn State, Classic. Maris, Classic box cover. loaded up. <laughs> Ready to go. Lock and loaded. Yes, sir. Ready? And here we are. See the laser just started off, but they're getting into a scuffle. Ooh, missed grab, but hidden the shine. And no big follow-ups just yet. Wait, maybe Young Silver has this. Oh, but he takes the pressure off for a second. Not even taking time for figuring each other out or, or neutral. Looks like they're just putting out call-outs, going for hard reads already. Yeah. I saw, like, those tech chases can be really brutal because Fox is going to be able to shine himself on Wake Up. So that can be really annoying. Good back air from Young Silver. Able to take Rograt's first stock there. Getting back on stage. Catching with... Nice, nice combo. Uh, strong 60%. Strong lead where every stock matters in a crew battle. Young Silver seems to be a lot more comfortable in this specific matchup. But don't count Rograt out just yet. We're missing the edge guard. Young Silver with a back air to the platform, but Rograt's going low. Young Silver holding on to this momentum pretty strongly. Uh, Rograt hopefully can get it back with this second stock because you don't want to go down further than this for your team. Right, the, the strong start goes such a long way. We're going to see if Absolutely. Maris can keep it up against Penn State here. Great up smash and only one stock difference so far. Oh, pulls him out. The double up air into the up smash. That was really pretty looking. That was just cool. It just looked like Rograt wasn't ready. Yeah, yeah. Rograt's getting in a few hits, but Young Silver is able to make the space and come back in with these hard hitting aerials. That's a stock. It seemed like it wasn't going too bad for Rograt at first, but Young Silver just ran away right there. I think that was part of the not having much neutral in the beginning. We weren't sure what was going on. It was pure chaos. And Young Silver just holding onto that lead. Rograt below the stage in the recovery, and he's going to take a, a little bit of percent. Oh, he's at 100 now. A strong back air is going to do it. Young Silver's looking for anything, and he gets the back air. That's a two stock lead? Or is that three stocks? That was a three stock lead right off the bat. That's a great start for Penn State. Mm hmm. Quick. Explosive, efficient. Looks like he was going for similar options uh, each time um, and catching it with those back airs to finish it off. So commanding start from Young Silver. Uh, and let's see who Maris sends out next to stop the bleed. Yeah, yeah. Young Silver had a pretty clear plan going into that and just kept it up. It seems Vera is going to be the counter pick here. So that Dr. Mario, you love to see these matchups. Dr. Mario has a lot of tools here. The up throw to fair is a really big finisher. We know that the cape is going to do a lot of work against space animals. And you know who knows what other tricks Vera has up his sleeve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm looking forward to, to saying what this doc has. Uh, I think doc is um, a forgotten character. Uh, <laughs> what is it? Back when, when Shroomed was still playing, that was like, Ooh. that's definitely seven at least seven years ago. No uh, way. You hear more about how much power. I can't remember the last time I saw, you know, Shroom consistently bringing out his dog. But um, he, he, he's got the, the respect, I think, that he deserves as, like, you know, upper mid-tier level. But in terms of, like, actually witnessing um, how strong he can be uh, in matches, it doesn't happen too often. So let's see what Vera's got in store for us. Yeah, I'm surprised at how many docs there are in the circuit. I know the Living Monkey, who is another commentator with us, is also a doc player. So it's great to see these uh, these people picking characters. Ooh, Vera with the up B cancel. That's fancy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah. you can. Nice. So Vera has the, the tech unlock. We're going to see if that's going to play a role here. Uh, those those mid-tiers, those upper mid-tiers, have a lot of just that, uh, that extra level of mystery with all those moves that you know they spend all those hours practicing and pull out of nowhere. Let's see what Vera can do here. Young Silver is going to oh. shoot some lasers. Oh. They're going to have to restart oh. for a hot second. <laughs> Remember the stock count, y'all. Yeah, First full of 
Going back to Battlefield for game one, but Young Silver a little bit excited. Needs to wait a second here. He's gonna taunt, but Vera's not gonna return the favor. Vera is not messing around. Dr. Mario is a stone cold killer with the fair and neutral. Oh, goes for a cape. But Young Silver is able to make it back to mid stage. Oh, jab to jab, and Vera with the down smash. He gets some good damage, but they really are just trading blows here. Mm -hmm. Vera gets in an opening, the Young Silver returns it right back. Oh, big F smash. He goes for a second one. He's using every smash attack, but Young Silver finds the opening and gets in the big up smash. Yeah, very patient, careful, trying to get back onto the stage. The Young Silver just poking, trying to see if he can catch him with a haymaker, and catches him with a with a up smash. How did I forget what the name of the move was? But able to extend his lead further to to four full stocks. Yeah, that's pretty huge this early on. We're going to see if Penn State can keep it up, if Young Silver can hold on to the stock for any longer. Gets back to stage just barely. I thought Vera could have had that. Oh, and the trade. This is looking really sketchy, but Young Silver can't find the ledge. Oh, wow. That up air was nasty. It was very clean. Lucky, please stop making fun of me. I'm a sensitive man. <laughs> Okay, okay. Vera <laughs> with the down smash is gonna it's gonna return it back. I was I was just joking, Lucky. Uh, <laughs> uh here in neutral, just really laying into each other. Whole lot of aerials coming out. Wow. And young silver turns it to five stocks here. Five whole stocks. Really big lead. Young Silver's just had a big crescendo in both matches where, you know, maybe it starts out, it looks a little bit more even, but then he just rips open uh, the other team's member um, and just right, extends right. that lead over and over again. Very, very looking for some big hits, but not able to connect anything. That's the throw off stage, but again, no edge guard. Being really committal on these, looking for some kind of big read, and ends up getting battlefielded. Young Silver. <laughs> with an even bigger lead. Six whole stocks. Battlefield in the quit out. Oh, man. Young oh, Silver. just the frozen frame, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, and that's not a pretty one to look at if you're mm -hmm. if you're Maris. That is, that is all pain here. Sad story. Maybe this is why Shroom stopped playing Doc. <laughs> Maybe this is why we haven't seen Doc in so long. Young Silver with the GGs in the in the chat, and I don't see anything from Vera. Badge. And Vera apparently is paused. Vera must have just paused and walked off, because we can't move on until uh, until either Young Silver quits out or Vera comes back to the setup. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this, this is that rage moment, but you don't get to see what happens. Uh without the, the camera setup, but dang. Vera started Vera's out like really solid yet. too. Uh, I was I was scared from the first stock because he was patient, trying to keep uh, Young Silver from having center stage, but Young Silver is just like dogged pressure the whole way through um, and really catching him off guard with the, the haymakers, like the up smash for the first stock, that up air um, out of, apart from the ledge on the second stock. Um, just, I think, blew open the, the game plan that Vera had. So, solid job, for sure, by Young Silver, making this lead pretty, pretty uh, daunting for Marist College. Yeah, great play so far. and He's still got stocks. He's going to keep it going. Who can Marist even send in here? It's going to be a spacey matchup. And Young Silver has these. We saw in the first game, the really commanding... Uh, the really commanding game against Rograt. Some interesting uh, young silver lore in the chat. Yeah, I don't, don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm reading here. Matthew's going in, so it's going to be the Falco Fox. Do you believe the lore? I, I, I don't know. I think it either just. <laughs> Base Young Silver more impressive, or uh, is like like a like a side story, not something we have to keep up with too much. 
I'm kind of curious. What were the comments? I wasn't uh, wasn't paying attention. To... Something about uh, beef lung. Something beef about lung. <laughs> <laughs> and then okay. something about Turtle Beach headphones. And that's Turtle Beach. All I remember. <laughs> okay, this is a man of uh, of intrigue for sure. We're still on the stage selection here. There's going to be an FD ban from Young Silver. So where does Matthew want to go? Where is Falco going to take the fox? I wonder. As a Falcon, I think I just go in on whatever stage is next. I I, I, I default to Battlefield as a New Yorker. Mm -hmm. um, of, course, of course. Otherwise, I'll just go wherever I'm most comfortable and can find some space. But it comes down to the, the Falco play style. We are going to FOD here. Isn't this one of the stages where you thought that uh, that Falco has some uh, has some pull here? Or is that the other commentator? I know someone was a was an FOD fan. I'm definitely not an FOD fan. I think this okay. is the stage that <laughs> everyone hates, uh, except for I think it's a beautiful stage. I love the soundtrack, um, but in terms of like actually playing good melee on it, has never happened for for Clean Water, unfortunately. Neither, mm -hmm. neither for myself. It is a, it is a real mess. We're seeing a Schlabberknocker right off the gate. A lot of hits being exchanged, and a lot of aggression. Young Silver with that Nair just following Matthew through the air, but he's gonna hit him back with the F Smash. Matthew's looking a lot stronger compared to Merit's College two other players. Yep, he, I think he just knew that the key was coming out, uh, gunslinging, uh, and seeing what he can do to get. Oh, oh. wow! Wow! Two stocks so fast. Maris needs that right now. And now mm -hmm. with a four stock deficit, this is way more doable. 100%. That was an incredible start from Matthew. And so unfortunate the young Silver missed the, you know, the, the, the meteor cancel. He fell yep. for so long there. <laughs> <laughs> Maris, man, uh, I, that's Matthew doing exactly what he needed to do, taking the two stocks in, I think, less than a minute, um, trying to. Gain back some mem some momentum for this team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Damn, Matthew, that was intense, and he's really great to watch. I'm excited to see what he's gonna do next. That was really exciting. Mm -hmm. Penn State with a lot of options for who to send out next. Uh, all some tricky matchups for Falco, unfortunately. Dad, the Peach, Crispy, the Sheik, and Hoborg, the Luigi. Um, I, yeah, you know, maybe Luigi isn't. It is tricky. It's something that you have to know your stuff on. Um, but I'm personally more worried about a Sheik or a Peach coming out, because uh, those can really delete the stocks. Well, your nightmares are true, because it seems like Crispy is going to go in here. We're going to see if Crispy has those tech chases. He's able to rack up that early percent to set up for really big confirms offstage with a down throw to, to F-Tilt and to Fair. We're going to see what Crispy's about here. Does he live up to his name? That's a nice tag, by the way. Oh, for sure. Great tag. I've seen Crispy play. He's got some crisp stuff, for sure. We're going to see what he can do against Matthew. Yeah, such a strong start for him. Uh, still waiting on stages here. All right. Where does Falco want to take a chic? I'm just going to keep asking you because you're, uh, you're Mr. Falco. I like shooting. So FD, I think, is definitely one of those stages where you're able to just keep Sheik away with lasers or do your best. Um, otherwise, maybe Dreamland. But that's just because uh, I like the neutral of it and haven't quite figured out the, the punish game of it. Um, right, right. Otherwise, I think that you might be a little more comfortable on um, Yoshi's. Forgot the name of the stage. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. You got there. Would you describe yourself as a Second Amendment Falco? Absolutely. Absolutely. As a, as a native Texan, I, I, I have to claim New Yorker now because that's where I've been the last few years. But as a native Texan. Yeah, wait. Hold on. <laughs> what? I thought you were New York true and true. For the last while, a good, a good long time, I've been up here. Uh, so I, I've given into the, the Yankeeness, but... Uh, I know my roots. Okay, you know what you're about. And Matthew's gonna get his big stage here, so we can see if he's gonna stay on the gun. But so far, not really. And Crispy yep. is making some work out of it. 
Yeah, only a couple lasers so far, and Crispy just taking advantage of that, deleting the first stock. Yeah, it seemed like Crispy was all on top of him, so Matthew took the space, and it didn't matter. Crispy went all the way back in, and great follow-ups there to get that edge guard with the double fair. Super clean, super crispy. <laughs> no tech chase, though. Ooh, yeah, interesting Matthew. choices by Matthew. Uh, He's walking into a lot of grabs, but at least he got the wake-up shine to break out of it. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's barely used any laser so far. Except yeah, he's for that double trouble. get off the ledge. Sorry. <laughs> oh no, that's a, that's alright. And ooh, the super weird forward smash is going to keep him in this a little bit longer. Great platform fall through with the back air. That was interesting. Oh. Pulls F smash and gets a needle to the face. <laughs> this is really interesting edge play. Both of these guys seem like they're just an inch away from losing the stock at like all times. Oh, that F tilt. Crispy almost walked into that, but he just floats away. Okay, Matthew with the back here. He's gonna be able to finish it off. Yeah, took a little bit, but able to get that first stock off of Crispy. Let's see if he can take a few more. Uh, never mind. Ooh, unfortunate <laughs> air dodge. I expected yeah. so much from Matthew after their last performance, but Crispy has this matchup down really well. Is able to weave around those lasers and getting, look at that, perfect shield. Great stuff. Yep. Falco Fox is a lot different than Falco Sheik. Um, I think Crispy's been doing all the right stuff to catch him. Just be really late with that air dodge, but Matthew isn't able to get too much of a follow-up here. Good dash attack, and there we go, that's the grab. Ooh, too much commitment there with the dash attack. Yeah, just a bit too far with the tech chase, but Matthew's forward smash wasn't enough. Damage wasn't high enough. Okay, Matthew can still keep this pretty even if he can finish off the stock. But Crispy with these bear walls. He's a he's a jigglypuff player. <laughs> Can the grab? Immediate back air. That seemed like a really strange angle. I feel like I see Sheiks tend to go lower first and then jump up, but it worked out well. Matthew starting to use the lasers okay. a bit more, as he should. That's Matthew's smart. Matthew's feeling <laughs> Matthew's feeling like a Texan now. He's a <laughs> he's gonna take a lot more space. And it seems like it worked out. He got the poke there. And into the up smash. That's interesting. That seemed like that barely finished. I don't know though. Mm -hmm. Unconventional kill, but you'll take whatever you can get as Matthew right now. Yeah, if it works, it works. And he needs these stocks. Back to a five stock lead now for Penn State. Oh. Oh, just <laughs> trading. Way. Oh my goodness. Matthew turning it up. These guys are both playing like they hate each other. Just. <laughs> Big mobs at each other. Oh my goodness. Alright, Matthew back with the lasers, but now he's dancing on the top flat. He wants to fall down really bad, but Crispy's able to wall him out with more back airs. Knocks him off stage in the trade, but nothing gonna happen. On the platform with the quick fair, that's gonna take the stock, and we're back to a six stock lead. Wow, Matthew reversed. Uh, a big chunk of that lead so fast in the previous game, but right here we just saw he let it go again. Yep, yep. Shout outs to Crispy, very crisp, I must say. Um, Matthew uh, had some great moments there for sure. Uh, I think that openings came out of lasers, and then for those moments where he didn't laser, Crispy knew what to do to catch him um, to get rid of those stocks, but um, ultimately keeping the lead for Penn State. And now you're wondering, can Abso or Penwin, Penwin, uh, bring it back for their team? Yeah, no G, no G to be found. <laughs> Abso is going in. So the the Fox versus Sheik matchup. We know that Crispy doesn't have those tech chases super reliable, but still a lot of powers in you know in those follow ups in the air with those back airs and hitting those fares out of nowhere and getting those edge guards really strong and really consistent stuff here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely.
Shout out to shoot. the new Pog Chat, by the way. Oh, yeah. It's a great emote. I love the snake. Mm hmm. Komodo hype. Where does Wait. it come from? Is there like a story there? I don't know the story. I just know that people really hype around Komodo hype. Um, oh. So to see it become the Pog Champ, I'm, I'm a fan of. But is Komodo hype itself still around? Is there just like two of the same emote? Can someone test that out for us? I'm uh, I'm unaware. Ready? I feel like I used Twitch a lot, but I'm not in the chat. I'm just uh, I'm a passive viewer. Yeah, I'm definitely one to just LMAO every <laughs> few minutes at like a mango joke. Yeah, <laughs> me too. <laughs> We're at the oceans here. Crispy taking those two stocks, and they're gonna get started. Ooh, Abso with the pre-game. Oh. oh. <laughs> No, I don't know if he was showing off or if he, he was getting some last minute warm ups in, but they're gonna have to restart. Some interesting uh, game intros um, for these first few matches. Oh, he just wanted the hand warm. -ups. Okay, okay. So okay. they they are going to play on Yoshi's, but Abso wasn't treating that like anything but just a hand warmer. Unless he's uh, he's going back on his word there, and he just wants to cover up for a. Uh, for that little incident. Hard to say. We shall see. Okay, we're here now. Abso staying clear from the edge. Not gonna run into that again. And Crispy with the two stocks here. Taunt's coming out. Perfectly synced up. Great stuff. And immediately with the grab. But no tech chase. Crispy's having trouble hitting these. I don't know if these guys are having some lag. There's a good amount of distance. No, no, there shouldn't be. Yeah. It could be nerves. It could just be, you know, missing the reaction a little bit. But uh, he has the right idea. Um, mm -hmm. Catching the any missed move with a, with a grab and then falling out. Doesn't even matter, because Crispy can land so many of those grabs out of neutral. Really good at finding those. Abso can't stay in shield for too long, or else he's going he's gonna to get grabbed again. Ooh. Wow, really great shield pressure there, and waits just a second before hitting the up tilt. Ooh, Abso went low for the shine, but wasn't able to connect it. Yeah, wasn't Gets able in there. to the top. And really slow yeah. roll up. Gonna get punished with a big up smash from Abso. Abso needs to hold on to this stock if he wants to keep hope for it. Well, you, you are just <laughs> bad luck for these players, man. Yeah. It seems like as soon as you say he can't lose that stock. He's gonna lose that stock. Can't yeah, say it anymore. I'll just I'll keep quiet <laughs> when it's really important. Oh, the commentary's great. It's just not fun for the players that every time you you will them well, they uh, they instantly die. I do wish them well, and Abso doing a great job. <laughs> yeah, Abso turned it around just as we were kind of just <laughs> hating on him. But uh, yeah, really great to see mm -hmm. closing yeah, that lead a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, chipping in the armor very slowly, but if the commentator's curse is real, my apologies to Maris College. <laughs> well, they're, they're going to need more than uh, just good tidings here to be able to come back from the five-stock comeback. They have to deal with Hoborg, Dad, and Alex Tru. All scary, uh, I think, for, for both spaces here. Uh, Luigi's got some goofy stuff, and with the, the Hoborg tag, I don't know how to take it. Um, <laughs> threatening from a distance. Yeah. yeah, the tag game, strong. The goof game, strong. The melee tech skill, strong. It's going to be a hard one. Mm -hmm. Episode's going to have to really pull it in. But you could see the determination um, in that quick match that he had with Crispy. Some jank stuff, but he pulled through. Shout outs <laughs> to. Is it the, the, the Zedru the, the goat hearted? The goat hearted. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, it seems like we've got a few more follows in there too. SS, B5X, and Duck Ilio. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate the support. It seems it like Dad is going to be coming in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, oh he's, a, he's a commentator. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shoutouts to Dad. OG. 
Yeah, Ooh. way, way back uh, with the free melee crew battles in December? Winter. Um, but always good to see our fellow commentators pull it out for the team. Yeah, good to see him. Good to see him doing well. He's on the he's on the winning team uh, for for right now. So that's great to see. I'll we'll see what Dad can do. The uh, Peach Fox matchup. This is something that usually foxes tend to enjoy, but Penn State's sending the Peach into it. So Dad must have a good amount of experience here to feel pretty confident to go in. Mm -hmm. I yeah, feel I like. Feel like Sorry, go. Oh, oh no, you, you go, you go. <laughs> so kind. I think that um, Abso, as a Fox, I think that, yes, the, the matchup is in Fox's favor, but with the Peach, you always have to watch, right? Because um, mm -hmm. those who are really strong, and on a college level, uh, it, it, it comes down to the knowledge, to the play style, uh, and it's not quite as easy as the numbers might make it look. That's fair. That's fair. I was thinking, Abso in the chat said he's going to ban FD if Hoborn. So that's what he was expecting. Maybe that means he has a little bit of trouble in that matchup. Maybe he wasn't sure that, that Penn State was going to send out Dad here. But we're going to see what happens. Okay. We're seeing some down smashes on the top plat. The blender is going to be activated on FOD for sure. Dad making breakfast. <laughs> making some smoothies. Oh, the down throw on the edge, but Dad has oh. not given up. He knows his side B timings. He's gonna climb the wall. No, no. the <laughs> lag, dude. Oh, the game oh. telling him you're not gonna get that. Nah, no Johns, but come on, he had that. <laughs> I don't know who to blame there. <laughs> Just uh, the unfortunate circumstances of a, of the world of internet. <laughs> Okay. Abso definitely knows what he's doing. Yeah, he feels comfortable in the matchup. Maybe they should have saw that Abso was dreading the Luigi and sent in Hoborg anyways. But they committed with this plan, and Abso's making some work. He's making it happen. Yeah, always good to have maybe a, a lurker on your team in chat sn sniping out or seeking out to see what others are thinking, but uh, Abso feels pretty comfy in this so far. Taking out Maybe these first two stocks without a scratch on the cell. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. The up the almost set up into something, and he's going to get the edge guard. I haven't seen too much from Dad other, you know, than, than the blenders on the platforms. Look, he's going for it again. He needs to get in there. He's getting a down smash, but it's going to send the wrong way. Another down smash, but doesn't kill. Oh, Another the down up. smash still doesn't kill. Do you think the turnip saved Abso there? It might have knocked him far enough so that the down smash didn't get the stock. Oh, yeah, to Abso going in. Oh, he's just running right in. And Dad hitting him away with the tennis racket. Abso. Ooh. Abusive. He was making a lot of work there. He's going to reflect the turn up. That's interesting. Abso is saying that Maris is not done yet. Still a four stock deficit. That can be pretty daunting when you only have two people left on your crew battle, but he's looking to make it happen. Confident plays. Ooh, catches him Abso. with the call out and, and the taunt. taunt. Wow. Abso looking like he's the one with the floats here. He's just moving so well around everything Peach has, and placing those aerials so deadly. Dad with a bit of a follow up here, making something happen, but no, Abso gets out pretty big combo, but of course Peach with that Nair can break out of so much. Down smashing even when he's all the way across the stage. You can see what the plan is. Every time Dad floats, Abso's able to pick him off. And every time he makes Ooh. these down smashes, Abso finds an opening. Ooh, this is looking very scary for Dad now. Off stage, <laughs> so deep. That was terrifying for Abso there. You need this second stock for sure. Oh, falls down with the back here. That's going to finish it off. He's wow. able to draw it in a whole lot. Only a two stock deficit now. That was looking so scary just, you know, one game ago. And now this is so doable. Mm -hmm. Young Silver blew the lead open. Truly, like knocking down two folks, like back to back. Um, 
but Abso showing that, you know, Maris will not go quietly. Uh, strong performance for sure, taking out Crispy and Dad. Uh, and now I wonder, who do they send out? Hobor or go for the spacey matchup? Hobor might be the anchor, but I don't know. The Luigi matchup seems so tempting here. We're going to see uh, how Penn State is feeling. They might be regretting, regretting setting in dad there because they had such a commanding lead before that game. Mm -hmm. Dad dad liked to spin. Dad was a spinner for sure. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of C-stick heroes in the intercollegiate slippy, uh, in the intercollegiate slippy world for sure. The C-stick will take you far in this game at the collegiate level. <laughs> yeah. Even with the with the top teams, they uh, they got some C stickers when they have the opportunity to use it. You know, mm -hmm. I think net play also uh, emphasizes that with uh, some some delay jank. I think rollback is is beautiful in how it's made things a little less janky, but um, the the power of a strong move and a little bit of a hesitation um, showing itself for sure. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, yeah. when and and tall from our last match. Uh, mm. Didn't work out for Dad here. Uh, maybe a bit too uh, insistent on uh, the blender, but still an option you have to watch out for. It seems like Alex Trur is going to come in here. Penn State sticking with Hoborg as their anchor. And we're going to see if the Falco Fox matchup is going is to work out for Penn State. If Maris is going to complete the comeback here. They're going to be going to FOD, so they're warming up right now, but they'll be playing here later. Yep, yep, yep. Shoutouts to Kibby, by the way. See you in the chat. Shoutouts to everybody in the chat. Thanks for tuning in. Shoutouts to chat. You guys are amazing. And I read you when I can't think of things to say, so thank you. <laughs> Appreciate the free content. Come on. Another really well-timed uh, taunts there to get into it. Abso down two stocks from Marist. But on the on the tails of a huge comeback right now. It was six stocks at one point. Ooh, big combo from Alexter and clips with the down smash on the top plat. Alexter is pressing buttons very quickly. That was crazy. There's some really great conversions there. Abso with the wake up shine. But it's not going to get too much off of it. Alexstra has a lot of pressure here. Just keeps going in. The jab to extend the combo. That was crazy. Yeah, so ooh. really... Ooh. Catches him with the back air. Some really ticky-tacky openings in the first stock. But um, Alex just keeping the, the lead up for his team. Not letting Abso keep his momentum. Abso, okay. Looking for a lot of smash attacks here, almost to the point of fishing, but gets the job done. Alexstra is not Ooh. deterred though. Huge combo, and the downer that's gonna finish it off. That was that was so fast. That second stock did not exist. I I saw it for five seconds and it just disappeared. Penn State with a three stock lead. They're still in this. They're they're feeling themselves. Oh man. Yep. Yep. Abso had some swaggy back. moments in there with his uh with his taunts, but Alex was like, nah. <laughs> None of that swag in here. We still Alex got the lead. He held in. I love to see that in Falcos. He just kept holding in and he just kept on getting those hits, pressing so many buttons, getting great shine dares. <laughs> I'm Almost seeing like the Abso uh... take my shine dare coffee pasta. <laughs> Oh man, that was so clean. Mm -hmm. You love to see it. Uh, Penguin, what Penguin. do you have? You have you seen Penguin? I think nope. that the 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 lack of a G there, uh, foreboding. Really? How does that play into the meta game? <laughs> I think that it trips up your opponent, perhaps, if they are mm -hmm. keeping track of the tags. Just like, why isn't there a gene there in the back of their heads while they're playing? So maybe it gives them a mental edge. Or, okay. you know, or a threat. 
I think it's uh, it's almost like uh, you know, the the horror movie that starts out like really nice, and you just see like there's one thing that's a bit off, mm -hmm. um, and then next thing you know, it's a, like a demonic terrorizing film. I think that Penguin could be that scary okay. anchor for Marist College. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the how the G is going to play into the gameplay here. Mm -hmm. Trying to get to Hoborg, who does have the G. For the Falco Ditto, what do we have to look for here? What's going to make or break it? Um, controlling neutral for sure, but I, you know that's that's not fair. That's every matchup, right? Uh, lasers. I think it's going to be who. One uses them the most, but uses them the most effectively uh, to to keep the other Falco in check. It's possible that neither are laser friendly, Second Amendment friendly Falcos. Um, so we'll we'll see what they end up going with. But that seems to be the vibe: is lasers for sure. So controlling neutral, or you know, who's just got the better punish game um, and better uses their openings that they're able to get in the chaos that is a Falco Ditto. Yeah, Alex Trur seemed a lot less uh, interested in using lasers to find follow-ups. It's just the pure aggression, as we saw in the last game. But we'll see if met with uh, with lasers from the other side, if he's going to be able to adjust, or if he's going to keep up the really powerful aggression. Mm -hmm. Is it Penguin with us in the chat, uh, calling out Zedru's interesting spelling, but it's actually a reference to a movie. What movie? Uh, Pet Cemetery. Oh, that's fun. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that's about. I, as a scary movie fan, should have watched it. Have not seen movies in many days uh, with work, but I've heard good things. Oh, Stephen King. Yeah, it must be horrifying. Yeah, yeah. Great stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Penile Sedimentary. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, man. None of us can doing? spell cemetery. <laughs> it's a hard word. And yeah, they spell it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Why do they spell it with an S? What is up with that? Something to do with Stephen King and the, the story. I don't know. He's a, he's a crazy guy. He can, he can spell words whoever he wants to. He's insane. He's, he's next level brain can churn out a book in a week. Uh, what is it? I I haven't read a book after I read it of Stephen King's because that's like mm -hmm. well over 1,700 pages of just like Tara is just like, how can you maintain focus for that long in a narrative? Like it was it was thicker than like the copy of the Bible I had back home. Like imagine, Damn. right? The, written by many, many, many people over thousands of years, this. And then it, just Stephen King, the Chad with the bigger book. <laughs> uh, yeah, the scary clown Bible. Mm -hmm. Pretty much the same thing. Same thing. Same difference. Same thing. Uh, looks like there's potentially some broadcast issues, and that's why we're going on with the Stephen King shenanigans. Hopefully, the game's going to get started in just a second. Potentially, the last game. We're going to see if Penwin can hold on here and uh, get this comeback from Marist. Yeah, I so definitely brought it back for the squad. Let's see if Penguin still has that same power, that same momentum uh, to knock out Alex and then maybe get some of Hoborg. But Falco, ditto. You know, sometimes it's hard to to not go one for one on stocks. Um, so a lot of it will depend on momentum. Like Young Silver had with the, the Fox ditto. You know, it was crazy in the beginning, real scrappy. And then all of a sudden... Uh, all the stocks were gone um, yep. for mares. So hopefully uh, you can have that kind of an opening here if you're mares um, and give yourself a chance versus the Luigi matchup. Yeah, yeah, we'll see uh, what mares can do here. Let's see if they can hold on for dear life and uh, keep it going. Be able to find that match against Hoborg. Alex for only needing to take one stock, and they'll get started in just a second. Oh, well, they'll, they'll be doing a little bit of hand warmers first. 
Hopefully they uh, they get through that in a good time so we can see our we can see our match. Seems like they're just uh, <laughs> they're just chilling. <laughs> Great just chilling, sizing each other up. Yeah, not too sure what's happening really. I don't think they ever finished stage selection. There seems to be some confusion, uh, telling each other all kinds of things. Alex sure <laughs> needs to take a stock, but they first need to figure out where they're going. Crew battles in the thick of it, forgetting what's going on, but we're going to get started in just a second. Waiting on the Penguin ban. Oh, no, Alex is going to ban. Right. No one's, uh, no one's taking responsibility here. Alex yeah, sure banned Battlefield, but apparently he banned Battlefield a while ago, and Penwin might have missed the message. Oof. So we'll figure that out in just a second. The team's Penwin getting the bearings here. Penwin was too busy, you know, trying to correct spelling in the chat, even though it was technically correct. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you just got to go with the uh, the active crew battle chat metagame here, because they're just taking so long to get into the game. They're not blaming the players. They're trying the hardest. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the players. Shout out to the players in chat. Great performances. Yeah. Uh, I'm so glad that the players are coming out here each week to put on, you know, these great performances just time after time, giving it their all, making some crazy moments happen. A lot of clips, a lot of great clips that I've been seeing. It's amazing stuff. Absolutely. Coming out. Playing for your squad. There's something about melee, right? I feel like it's such an individual game, almost like tennis, where it's just like 1v1. But then when you have stuff like dubs, when you have the crew battle form format, it's for more than yourself. It's for like your crew, it's for your school, it's for your squad, uh, bringing a different kind of pride. And I think that getting to see that each week, um, a few matches every day or so, has definitely been hype. Oh, of course. It's great to see. So many new things can happen when you're fighting for the homies. Uh, you can see a lot of crazy upsets, a lot of disastrous games. Uh, people with the... Uh, some people find it as a great sense of encouragement, and some people get pretty nervous. You can see there's a lot of spaghetti. There's a lot of spaghetti, but there's a lot of beautiful moments where it just all comes together. Spaghetti and then... Uh... Parmesan cheese to top it off. Of course. It seems like uh, these players are having a little bit of trouble getting into the broadcasting of it. Uh, but hopefully they figure themselves out in just a second. They're going to Dreamland, I believe. For the Falco ditto here. Alex Stra once again, with only three stocks. And Penwin as the last from marriage, co me sorry, from Marist College. We're all okay. A lot of pressure here. Ooh, Alex Trier with those uh, fade back back airs, and able to get into. Okay, pretty good punish here. Waits for the spot dodge and getting a lot of damage. Penwin's below the stage, but gets back to ledge. And Alex Trier just has to hold it. It's gonna take the stock quick. Alex with the control so far on the neutral with those lasers uh, was able to take a pretty commanding lead. Nudi caps him with the crouch cancel. And we're giving up center stage. I think Alex push him out here. Almost taking it, but then we're able to maneuver out. Slowly build his way back in. Oh, Alex is looking for something big here and gets the F smash. Okay, this is looking really sketchy for Maris now. Penwin needs to start taking some stocks fast before Alex Drew runs away with this and finishes off the crew battle. Another big combo. So many shines, so many dares. Great pillar combos. Ooh, the laser pressure backs off, but Penwin's gonna get in a back air here. Oh, scoops him with the up tilt. I thought he was so far away. No edge guards just yet, but we see the jab extension and the F tilt is going to do its job. Penwin going to reverse it with the hit off the the Firefox, but 
can't come back. Alex Kirk charged the down smash for safety, but Penwin is on the last stock here for Mayor's College. See what he can do. Still a glimmer of hope for our boy, but Alex showing that he's got a, some knowledge for this matchup, some good positional melee. Ooh, Alex Kirk flying down with the back air, but Penwin's able to take the first stock here. He goes off stage looking a little bit sketchy. You gotta hang on, man. It's not Don't over just up. yet. Don't Never give up. Never get up. Never surrender. Look at that. He got the big combo right there, but he lets Alex Kirk walk away. And ooh, that F smash could have ended it, but Penwin hits the tech. He's able to keep some distance and get in a few combos of his own here. Okay. The F tilt knockdown. And on the ledge, the back air is going to hit Penwin the other direction. And the oh. F smash, as Penwin's climbing on, that's it. Penn State with the six stock lead victory. Great stuff from both teams. Marist almost had the comeback, but they let it slip, and Penn State with a great finish. EGs all around. Oh, and Penwin telling us that his stick broke mid set. Sounds like some Johns to me. But. <laughs> Solid showing, solid showing by, by both squads. Uh, Marist College with some sick players, but Penn State um, just with a solid mental game to keep that lead all the way throughout. Um, Alex holding it out for his team in the end. That was a great crew battle. Everyone should stick around because there's more to come. There is two more crew battles tonight, I think. I believe uh, be... so. Yeah, two more. Do we know what teams are playing in the next one? So next, yes, next we have Oberlin College versus William and Mary. And then we'll round out the night with Duke University, and I believe that's you, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Okay, great stuff. Should be really exciting. Uh, I'll be watching myself, potentially. Not sure if I'll be commentating. I think I might be signing off here. I really should get my homework done. Got a couple more hours left before midnight, so... Uh... Hopefully I can get that all in. Wishing you the best of luck with your homework, man. Thank uh, you. I'll need it. <laughs> I believe. But um, we'll be we back will... in seven minutes. So stick around. Yep.